Hello, this is Brent Arslaner. I'm the Vice President of Marketing at a company called Unisphere. And what I'm going to talk about today is virtual business. Many of you have heard of Second Life and some of these other virtual worlds that really predominantly have been successful for social rather than business purposes. So what we're going to talk about is how virtual environments for business can help various divisions and organizations in your company. So firstly, there's marketing. What's marketing's goal? Marketing's goal is to generate demand or a funnel of leads for their organization. Secondarily, sales. Sales is about driving money into the business. And lastly, there's HR. They're focused on bringing highly qualified and talented people into your organization. So how can a virtual environment or a virtual business help these different divisions within your organization. So what I'm going to first go through is the components of what is a virtual environment and then we'll walk through some of the benefits. The components are in four major areas. The first area is the actual virtual venue. Virtual venue is your building. Could be a, a bank, could be a hospital, could be a convention center for that matter. It's the 3D representation that you're going to be using. Secondarily, there is the rich multimedia. Rich multimedia could include audio, could include video, could include PowerPoint, and even animation. The third piece of the puzzle is collaboration. Collaboration could be via text chat. It could be actual voice communications, or we could use other Web 2.0 type of technology such as RSS and forums. Last component is professional networking. A la LinkedIn, Facebook, and some of the other social networks, you can use professional networks in which you build a profile within a community and be able to find other like-minded individuals within that community. So now let's talk a little bit about the benefits of virtual business. There's four main benefits. The first one is reach. And there's increased reach because you can meet with and interact with people in hundreds of different countries at a single point in time. Secondarily, you can increase ROI. Virtual business is a fraction of a cost of business in the physical world. And in turn, because combined with the reach ratio, you can generate more leads, you can recruit more candidates at a fraction of the cost, which gives you solid ROI. Thirdly, Productivity. You're at your desk. You're not at an airport in a taxi jumping between meetings. You can conduct real business and then go back to your regular business life. Lastly, there's increased intelligence. Within a virtual environment, you can learn about everyone that's in this environment. So an example being, from a marketing perspective, you know what white papers were downloaded, what webcasts have been viewed, what different types of collaboration took place if that means voice or chat types of communications. Or from an HR perspective you can use this intelligence to actually rank candidates based on how they reply to different questions and also the way that they have a, a really an interview within the virtual environment. So to tie it back together virtual business allows marketers to increase more demand, salespeople to be trained to be more productive, and HR people to recruit more talented people for their organization. Thank you very much for your time today.